Hey everyone, it's Matt here. How's it going everybody? It's your friend Will. Cleaning up my wall a little bit just for better viewing experience because you guys totally deserve it. Hopefully everything is going great with you. And welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Today we're going to talk about AWS's new service, IoT SiteWise. Man, this sounds like a tongue twister. So why don't you give us some brief introduction about what it is? Are you a passionate tech professional looking to hustle and advance your career in the tech industry? You should subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest tips, insights, and advice on what's going on in the tech industry. So this is an interesting service because what it is, is it's a managed service that allows you to collect metrics and data across multiple facilities into one location. Yes, AWS is the master of logistic and supply chain management, as well as keeping track of metrics of equipments in their warehouse. They literally got hundreds and thousands of those equipments across the globe. And right now they're releasing it as a service to the outside world. And that is essentially AWS IoT SiteWise. It can help collect data and transmit it in a secure and resilient fashion using AWS's own IoT gateway. Unlike the traditional way of data collection for a manufacturing plant, AWS IoT SiteWise removes the necessity of having an expert with specialized equipment and skill sets. This means a person who is familiar with AWS cloud environment could easily retrieve data from tens of thousands of devices in a manufacturing plant, parse it, and analyze the data in real time. Now that's what you call scalability. You can also create client side application and productize it if you are a IoT heavy startup. And it also supports the interface as well as the API for MQTT. And for those of you that don't know, MQTT is an open OASIS and ISO standard for lightweight publication subscribe network protocol that is used for transmitting data between different devices at scale. This protocol runs on layer four which means it runs on top of TCP IP, which is why it's very, very efficient. And if you're familiar with some of the cloud native pop sub services, you already know what it is. It's very similar to the Google Cloud's pop sub service as well as the AWS simple notification service. With that, you're able to process and interact with large volume of data in real time. And if you're looking for a situation where this is actually being used in the real world, AWS themselves provided a use case by Volkswagen Group, where they're using AWS IoT SiteWise to store their shop floor data in, in the cloud and organize it so that they can visualize it in a single application. And when you know a company like Volkswagen is adopting this solution or service, you know it's very mature and production ready. Volkswagen is using SiteWise to monitor their production line for cylinder. That's right. The cylinder that you, the, the cylinder in the Volkswagen that you drive actually is somehow impacted by AWS's cloud native services. Isn't that kind of cool? So there you have it. How do you think this will impact industrial companies? Are you going to create your own product and use it for your business? Feel free to let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe for more content. Otherwise, please stay happy and stay safe.